plague is an acute illness. Now, with acute illnesses, they resolve quickly, either you live or you die. And there's not enough time for the bone itself to change, to remodel. Um, it's only with chronic diseases, such as tuberculosis, which last a long time, where the bone can remodel. However, we can tell quite a few other things from the bones, such as injuries and also lifestyle. Uh, for example, in this individual, in their spine, we find lesions representing signs of hard labour. And in fact, we find that in quite a few of the skeletons. We find both in the bone and also in the stable isotope work that's been done that they suffered from malnutrition and stress and disease during their childhood years. So that's another good, another sign that they perhaps were, were quite impoverished, perhaps didn't have access to as much food as they needed. Some historical chroniclers suggest up to 50,000. That's actually pretty unbelievable because from uh, historian estimates, the population of London in the 1340s was probably only 60,000. But historians have also uh, extrapolated from the number of wills made that possibly up to 60% of London's population died. So we're still talking about tens of thousands. The isotopic evidence can also tell us, tell us information about what they were eating, what kind of protein, whether it was a, a vegetable or animal or marine. Um, most of them seem to have had quite a mixed diet. But we have some examples where we can say, we can say for example, that, that some of them, they changed their diet after they moved to London because we also have information on where they were brought up due to the strontium isotopes that, that trace the area of Britain where they were eating their food when their teeth were developing. Potentially the organism may mutate and become more virulent and that may have been what happened uh, during the uh, medieval time during the Black Death uh, but we don't know but some of the studies that have been done now where from the teeth of the Black Death victims will be able to extract the DNA will be able to work out whether the organism was more aggressive then than it is in the modern day plague. We can look at infectious disease and especially at re-emerging diseases and new emerging diseases to try and help us understand what form they'll take, how they'll evolve and how we can protect ourselves in future from such outbreaks.